Hello everybody and welcome to my e-lesson. I'm your guru and in this video I will teach you how to create a speedometer in Excel. Just look look over here how the how the needle goes up and down. <laughs> See? <laughs> As the value changes over here, the pointer moves between 100 0 to 100. See, <laughs> this is so cool, so cool, you won't believe. And it's so very easy to, so very easy to make. All right, uh, to, to make this, uh, what we have to understand first is that we have to create actually two charts over here. Uh, the first chart would be using this data, which would be used to create this pedometer dial. All right, it has four components five components actually start point would be zero and then the initial 15 this is the red red part this is the 15 uh, part and then the middle 45 part this this yellow one is the middle 45 part and the last 40 is this green part is the 40 part and maximum speed is 100 that is what we are trying to achieve over here then the total of these three is 100 all right so achieve a, a perfect uh, half circle all right and then there's a second chart that we have incorporated within the same chart for with which we have created this needle or pointer for which we have used this data all right this value obviously indicates the value where we want to point the needle at like say for example if we point want the needle to be at 98 or 89 or 40 54 Sorry, uh, mistake 54 or 10, any which way. This pointer one is the actual size of this needle. Uh, that means it's consuming one cell to show this needle. All right. So, and this end, it, it, it is a calculating point to have the needle in balance and have it synchronized from the center so this is actually a formula which is 200 minus the total of these two 200 is actually the total of this right and the end is actually to the total of this which is 200 minus the total of this all right and now we'll go see how to create the speedometer it's so very easy you won't believe all right to create a speedometer first we have to click on insert go to a donut chart all right select data series sorry click on add speedometer series value would be All right, it's very, very simple to have this. All we need to do is just in, click on insert and click uh, and and choose a donut chart that we did from here. All right. And once we have a donut chart, we need to move the data and get the data here. So we will get the data from select data. Click on add. It's asking for a series name. So this is the series name and series value well these are the series values we need to choose okay and now all we need to do is set the orientation right how we can do it we can do a right click for math data series and now we can change the orientation we want the orientation to look something like this yes <laughs> and now let's hide this how we do that just fill it click on fill and click on no fill and let's change the colors this one should be green and <laughs> so fun so fun to make this one should be yellow this one should be bright red 
all right there we go we don't need this let's enlarge the size of the chart all right now we need to click on design select data because we now we need to create the pointer select data add series name can be pointer and the data would be this one click ok all right now what we need to, oh sorry <laughs> what did i do add series name is pointer this is another donut chart that is getting added to it and the data range is this one click ok ok now what we need to do is to convert it into a needle we actually need to change the chart type this outer chart type it should be made into a pie chart all right and once it is a pie chart we need to change its orientation also its orientation would be the same one as the last uh, as the donor chart which was 270 right this is it and now what we need to do is click on this area this green area and click on fill and have no fill so you have your donut back now just to get the pointer back we need to just hide this blue part how do we do that select the blue part go to fill and have it no fill and now we can turn the pointer to black select that go to solid fill and make it black here it is and we can actually have a data label to it we can click on the data label increase the data label size all right and while we are at it we can actually make it variable just click inside the data label and go to the formula bar type is equal to and select the cell so whatever would be mentioned here would automatically start reflecting here <laughs> uh, and th that, th th that that's the speedometer chart isn't it awesome you can actually play around with the layouts make give it a 3d look and all so have fun you can actually download this file and for, for practicing along from myelesson.org so if you like this video do, do click on like and share it across so until the next video this is your guru signing off for the day have a wonderful day ahead happy learning